Welcome to the Soccer Tavern, where we're discussing the history, culture, and philosophy of the beautiful game. My name is Dave, and in this video, we're talking about the history of Inverness Caledonian Thistle Football Club. Pull up a seat, and let's start the discussion. Inverness Caledonian Thistle FC is located in the northern part of the city of Inverness. Inverness is located in the northern central part of Scotland in the United Kingdom. The city is located close to Loch Ness, and the city's name literally means mouth of the river Ness in Gaelic. The club currently play in the Scottish Championship, which is also known as the Ladbrokes Championship due to sponsorship reasons. The championship is the second division in Scottish soccer. Inverness CT's home ground is called the Tulloch Caledonian Stadium, which opened in 1996 and currently holds a little less than 8,000 people. The club in its current iteration was created in 1994 when two clubs called Inverness Thistle and Caledonian decided to merge. The club has roots that stretch back to the 1880s, though. Inverness Thistle was created in 1885, while Caledonian, which was nicknamed Cali, was created in 1886. Both clubs were based in the city of Inverness, which was considered a town until 2000. Thistle and Cali, along with a third club based in Inverness called Clack Nacudden, or Clack, formed the North of Scotland Football Association and the Highland League in the late 1800s. Thistle, Cali, and Clack were the most successful clubs in the Highland League and were all rivals. The Highland League was and still currently is not part of the Scottish professional soccer pyramid. The idea to merge the clubs came about because the Scottish League was deciding to expand from 38 to 40 teams in 1993. Because most of the Scottish League was based further south, a company called Inverness and Nairn Enterprise Company organized a meeting between Thistle, Cali, and Clack to discuss a merger. The logic was that one club applying to join the league had a better shot at winning the vote versus three clubs splitting the vote. Ultimately, Clack backed out of the meeting, but Thistle and Cali proceeded. On January 12, 1994, the new Inverness club was voted into the Scottish League for the following season. On May 14, 1994, the two clubs played their final matches as separate clubs in the Highland League. And on July 20th, 1994, the new club of Inverness Caledonian Thistle beat RAF Kinlos 2-0 in its first ever match. Its first ever official match occurred a few days later on July 30th against St. Mirren. The club has three nicknames, Cali Thistle, Cali Jags, and the Pride of the Highlands. Cali Thistle is just the shortened version of the club's official name. The Cali Jags nickname also comes from the club's official name. Cali obviously comes from the Caledonian part of the club's name. And Jags is often a nickname given to a club that has Thistle in its name. A Thistle is a prickly weed with purple flowers and it is the official flower of Scotland. That is why many Scottish clubs have Thistle in their official names. I believe the fact that the plant is prickly and jagged is where the nickname Jag comes from. I wasn't able to fully confirm this in my research though, so if there is another explanation, please let us know in the comment section below the video. And finally, the Pride of the Highlands nickname comes from the club being based in the Highland region of Scotland, which is the northwest region of the country. The Inverness CT crest is a combination of the Caledonian and Inverness Thistle crests for those independent clubs prior to their merger in 1994. At the top of the crest is a golden eagle, which was the symbol of Caledonian. Golden eagles are apex predators found throughout the Highland region in Scotland. Under the eagle is a Scottish thistle. We've already discussed the thistle as a purple flowered prickly weed that is the official flower of Scotland. Behind the thistle is a soccer ball, which obviously is a reference to the sport that the club plays. And underneath all of these symbols is a scroll with the club's name of Inverness Caledonian Thistle FC. I'd like to discuss three important events in the club's history in this section. The first event I want to highlight happened on February 8th, 2000. Inverness CT played Scottish Giants Celtic in the Scottish Cup on the road in Glasgow. Inverness, which was playing in its first ever season in the second flight of Scottish soccer, shockingly upset Celtic 3-1 in the match. 
The upset was widely considered the biggest upset in Scottish soccer over the preceding 30 years, and one newspaper coined the famous headline, Super Cali Go Ballistic Celtic Are Atrocious. This was the greatest day in the club's history to that point, and is still one of the most famous days in club history. The next event I want to highlight happened on May 15th, 2004. On this date, Inverness CT hosted St. Johnston in the final match of the season. Only the week before, Inverness moved to the top of the table by one point ahead of Clyde in the second division. A win on the day meant Inverness CT would be champions of the Scottish first division and qualify for the Scottish Premier League for the first time in the club's history. Inverness took a lead around the 30th minute before St. Johnston equalized before halftime. Early in the second half, Inverness took the lead again before adding an insurance goal in the 76th minute. The match finished 3-1, which meant the club reached the top flight in its 10th year of existence. There was some drama that summer after the club won promotion due to Inverness CT's stadium not meeting the requirements for the SPL, but it was all ultimately resolved, and the Cali Jags began the 2004-2005 season as a Scottish Premier League member. And the final event I'd like to mention here is the 2015 Scottish Cup Final. On May 30th, 2015, Inverness Caledonian Thistle played Falkirk in Hamden Park, which is the Scottish national team's home stadium in Glasgow. Inverness reached the final by defeating Celtic in the semi-final on April 19th, which was a fantastic and famous victory in its own right. In the final on May 30th, the Cali Jags took the lead in the 38th minute through a great team goal. After having a man sent off in the 74th minute, Inverness conceded an equalizing goal in the 79th minute. The game looked set to be heading to extra time, but Inverness scored a scrappy goal in the 86th minute to take the lead. The club would hold on for its first major title and the most glorious day in the club's history to date. Inverness supporters have a place where they can gather called the Inverness Caledonian Thistle Social Club. This is located about a mile and a half from the club's home stadium. The social club was formerly the official social club for the Caledonian supporters before the merger of Inverness Thistle and Caledonian. From the club's fan message boards, it appears this reason, along with a few others, has led to the social club not being extremely popular. The social club does serve as a place for some supporter meetings, and it appears to be the place where supporters catch buses to away matches. If you have any other info to add about the social club and or Inverness CT supporters, please let us know in the comment section below the video. I'd like to highlight three important players in the club's history in this section. Alan Hercher was the first captain in the club's history and scored the new club's first ever league goal in 1994. He ended up with a hat-trick in that first ever Scottish League match, which was the club's first ever competitive hat-trick. Hercher was a fantastic leader and led by example whenever he trained or played in a match for Inverness Caledonian. The next player I'd like to discuss is Ross Tokely. Tokely joined the club in 1996 as a 17-year-old when the Cali Jags were still in the Scottish 3rd Division, which confusingly is the 4th tier of the Scottish Professional Leagues. The defender would make more than 500 appearances across all competitions for the club in a 16-year career. Tokely played with the club in all four divisions of the Scottish League Pyramid before leaving in 2012. He left as the club's all-time record appearance holder, which he still remains at. And the last player I want to highlight here is Dennis Wynas. Wynas is the club's all-time record goal scorer with 101 goals. He played in both of Inverness CT's famous victories over Celtic in 2000 and 2003. Wynas scored the only goal in the 2003 1-0 victory. He was one of the greatest strikers in club history and is a club legend. In this section, I want to highlight four managers. Steve Patterson is the longest serving manager in Inverness CT's history. He led the club from 1995 to 2002, which included the famous 3-1 away victory over Celtic in the Scottish Cup in 2000 that we mentioned earlier. Patterson has the most wins as a manager in club history and led the club from the fourth tier to the second tier during his time in charge. The next manager I want to highlight is John Robertson. At time of recording, Robertson is the current manager of Inverness CT, and this is his second time managing the club. 
He first managed the Cali Jags from 2002 to 2004. Robertson led the club to the Scottish First Division title in the 2003-2004 season, which meant promotion to the Scottish Premier League or SPL for the first time in the club's history. We talked about that earlier. During that season, he also won the club's first cup tournament by winning the Scottish Challenge Cup for a unique double for the club of winning the second division title and winning this second rate cup. Robertson left as manager in November 2004 to manage Hearts and returned to Inverness CT in June of 2017. He has since led the club to another Scottish Challenge Cup title in 2018. The third manager I like to mention here is Terry Butcher. Butcher managed the club from 2009 to 2013 and is currently the second longest ever serving manager in club history. He was appointed as the club was struggling in the SPL in the 2008-2009 season. Even though Butcher wasn't able to avoid relegation in his first half season in charge, he was retained as manager and immediately led the club to the Scottish First Division title in his first full season as manager. For the rest of his time as manager at the club, Inverness CT remained in the SPL. And the final manager I'm going to discuss here is John Hughes, who took over from Terry Butcher. Hughes was manager from December 2013 to May 2016. Though his time was relatively brief with the club, Hughes led Inverness CT to its first ever major trophy, which was the 2015 Scottish Cup that we highlighted earlier. As a result of winning that tournament, the club qualified for European competition for the first time in its history, so this was a monumental moment for the club. Additionally, as a result of the club's most successful season in its history in 2015, Hughes was named Scottish Manager of the Year by both the Pro Footballers Association and Scottish Football Writers Association. Hughes left at the end of the 2016 season, but he will always have a special place in Inverness CT's history. Inverness Caledonian Thistle's three main rivals are Clacknacudden, Aberdeen, and Ross County. We touched on Clacknacudden as a rival earlier in this video. This is more of a historic rivalry as Cali Thistle and Clack don't really face each other much in competitive matches anymore, even though they are based in the same city. They're worth a mention here, but the other clubs we're about to discuss are bigger rivals for the Cali Jags now. One of the club's main rivals now is Aberdeen. Matches between the two clubs are called North Derbys because both clubs are located in the north of Scotland. The cities of Aberdeen and Inverness are the two largest cities in the north of Scotland, and geography seems to be the main reason for this rivalry. It's not much of a rivalry, though, as Aberdeen is one of the historically strongest clubs in Scotland, while Inverness CT has a relatively short history. Also, the two clubs are separated by more than 100 miles, so although they are considered geographic rivals, they're not exactly right next door to each other. Inverness CT's main rival these days is Ross County. Matches between the sides are called Highland Derbies because the two clubs are the only ones in the Scottish Football League from the Highland area of Scotland. Both clubs joined the Scottish League for the 1994-1995 season and the two clubs are located less than 15 miles apart. They are much closer geographic rivals than Aberdeen and each club rose through the Scottish League in a similar manner since joining in 1994. Additionally, the rivalry partially stretches back to the Highland League when Inverness Thistle and Caledonian were separate clubs and Ross County played in that same league. Lastly, at time of recording, both clubs currently play in the Scottish Championship, which is the second division in Scotland, and both are considered title contenders this season. That should add to this budding rivalry. The stats and records we're about to discuss are as of September 2018, which is when we are recording this video. The Cali Jags have played 12 seasons in the top flight in their history. The club has one major title, which is the 2015 Scottish Cup. The club has also won two Scottish Challenge Cups, which is a tournament that excludes the SPL teams and is not considered a major title. The Cali Jags won this in 2004 and 2018, so it did deserve a mention here. Inverness's record first team appearance holder is Ross Tokely with 456 league appearances. The Cali Jags record goal scorer is Dennis Wynas with 101 goals. Mark Brown holds the club's all-time clean sheets record with 67 clean sheets. 
The club's record transfer purchase is John Rankin from Ross County on July 1, 2006 for about £90,000. And although transfer fees aren't widely reported for Inverness CT, I believe the record transfer sale was Ryan Christie to Celtic on September 1, 2015 for a fee reported to be greater than £500,000. And one last interesting fact about the Cali Jags, Inverness CT holds the unfortunate record of having the highest ever point total for a club finishing in last place to be relegated from the Scottish Premier League. This happened in the 2008-2009 season when the club finished with 37 points but was still relegated in last place from the SPL. So there you have it, a bit of history on Inverness Caledonian Thistle Football Club. If you have anything else to add to our discussion, please let us know in the comment section below the video. Thanks for stopping by the Soccer Tavern. Hope to see you again soon. Cheers!